My name is Jason Atoms. I'm the monitor engineer for Example. I have also worked for Madness, uh, Happy Mondays, Mark Ronson, Standard Ballet. I'm using the S3 Alex. I've had a guy say it's a lighting desk. Because it is tiny, it's so small, and they can't believe it'll do 64 channels and 24 bus outputs. But still, I've done the biggest shows in the UK on it. We did V, we headlined one of the stages on Radio 1 Big Weekend, same with T in the Park. We've done some huge shows on it, and it's never given me a glitch. On this example tour, we're up to 47 inputs coming into monitors. We're all on in ears, so there's no monitors on stage, no side fills. Uh, output wise, I've got four stereo buses for the band, four stereo buses for the crew, and then there's a bus for the drum thumper and a bus for the bass player as well. The reason why I chose the Avid for this tour, I've toured with it for the last eight months around the UK festivals and European festivals. The band are very happy with it. As long as the band are happy with what they're hearing, I'm done really. Having this desk talk to Pro Tools natively really helps me as a monitor guy because I can do the virtual sound checks. The great feature is that if I'm in the virtual sound check mode and I actually adjust something on the board, when I flick to the live inputs, the desk will say to me, do you want to keep these settings or do you want to change it back to what they were, which I think is a great feature because then you can A-B stuff really, really easily. The fact that I can record everything onto Pro Tools via a Cat5 cable is amazing, where you used to have to have a lot of converters and extra outputs. If they want to rehearse and the bass player is not here, I can have his input coming from the Pro Tools while the rest of the guys are playing live. So you don't have to have the whole band in to rehearse. When I moved across onto the S3L, the plugins sounded better than they sounded before. And now using the S3LX, they've sounded even better now. So good plugins to me are invaluable. A great reverb plugin or a great compressor gate plugin will really make a difference, especially when you're doing in-ears because you can hear everything so much. And for me, when the band can't hear the plugin, when they just know that they, they don't know what's happening, but they know it's all good, that's my job done. It's great that I can actually work on the show while I'm away from my console, on a plane somewhere, use the same plugins that I'm running on the desk, load them into my Pro Tools file session, adjust them, mess with them, and then transfer those settings back into my desk again. The Avid S3L is the only desk at the moment you can take from the live environment and make the service control your Pro Tools environment. All of a sudden, one desk will do two jobs, so you're cutting down on costs. If you want to remix your album somewhere else, you can just take the surface and plug it into Pro Tools and control it via Yukon, which is a great thing. The choice of plugins, the choice of surface, and the Pro Tools makes me better than what I am, if that makes sense.